Hello everybody, my name is Jean-Philippe Renault. I'm technical lead at Palo IT. Palo IT is a software company that uh, co-develops uh, Mythwheel in collaboration with IOG. Uh, and today I'm going to talk about uh, Mythwheel and I'm very happy, very pleased to be here to, to talk about this uh, great project. So as I will uh, explain to you today, Mythwheel is a light, fast, uh, efficient and secure solution. So, First, let me uh, introduce Mythwheel. What is Mythwheel? Mythwheel is a new solution that enables users to obtain the current state of the blockchain without having to retrieve the full history. So Mythwheel is both a protocol and a network. And Mythwheel comes from academic research by IOG on a technology that is called uh, stake-based threshold multi-signature. I know it's very difficult to pronounce, so usually we say STM. Um, and what does it mean, uh, stake-based threshold multi-signature? It means that in order to create a Mythwheel multi-signature, we need to combine signature from entities that have stakes uh, in proof-of-stake protocol and we need to get a certain level, a certain, a certain share of these stakes in order to be able to produce uh, this um, uh, signature. So, uh, Mithril enables uh, lightweight and efficient interactions with Calano in a transparent, secure and trustless way. So, Mithril brings efficient certification to, uh, the, to Calano. One of the challenges that we need to face when we want to achieve scalability and mass adoption is to get fast and secure interactions with the chain. Some solution exists, but usually we have to make some trade-off between security uh, and decentralization. Uh, so, for example, when you are using um, a light wallet, you need to download uh, your uh, UTXOs, you need to download the transactions uh, or from your wallet, but you do it from uh, uh, from a wallet that you, don't, uh, that you don't own. So basically, you need to trust the party that is giving you this information. This is why often uh, people are running a full node wallet because they feel more comfortable with it. So with Mythwheel, we can leverage STM to unlock new applications, such as fast bootstrapping of the full node, such as, as I told you, trustless light wallets, and also efficient voting systems. So what's the roadmap to scalability with Mythril? The first step is to implement the cryptographic primitives. So we have developed uh, some um, library that is standalone and that implements the STM scheme uh, exactly as described in the original uh, research paper. So this is a library that is Mm, completely uh, agnostic of the blockchain, which means that it can run on any proof-of-stake environment. And this is available as a standalone library uh, on our uh, GitHub repository. The second step is to have SPO, Produce Full Node Snapshot Certificates. For this, mm, we have developed an open network of signers and aggregators that provide um, this certification for the snapshots and it's running currently on the, on, on the testnet. So on the Mithril network, we have several types of nodes. The first one is the signer. The signer is the node uh, that is run by uh, the stakeholder. It creates individual signatures and then these signatures are gathered and aggregated by the aggregator nodes, which creates the multi-signature embed them in a certificate and then serve this certificate to the last type of node, which is the client, which is responsible for uh, retrieving the certificate and verifying uh, that uh, these uh, certificates are authentic. Um, so basically, we intend to reach a mainnet deployment uh, uh, in 2023. So um, for this, we want to have a fully decentralized solution that will be deployed uh, to serve fast bootstrapping. This is our first, first objective. And we want also to work on uh, more uh, use cases 
uh, to uh, develop uh, new features as, such as light wallets. Uh, so for this, we'll um, uh, increase our capabilities and, and, and try to work on new use cases. So uh, Mithril is transforming the Cardano blockchain. First, we can have a fast node synchronization. So the synchronization time uh, of the Cardano node is significantly reduced. It means that, for example, on the, on the preview network, we've made some early experiments, and we have noticed that we had four to six times uh, speed up in terms of uh, synchronization time. Um, and in a few minutes, I'm going to demonstrate a video in, uh, in which you will see the results on the mainnet, and I can just say that they are even more impressive than that. Uh, then we are building the infrastructure to uh, be able to handle new types of data. So each use case will have its own certified type of data. And for this, we need to be able to get the signer nodes computed first and then sign it. So it means that we will have an infrastructure that will be able to rapidly include these new types of data to, um, to be able to uh, support these new use cases. Also, we are relying on an open and collaborative development process. It means that we are convinced that we can leverage the community to help us develop new applications for Mithril. Uh, for example, today we have already onboarded many uh, SPOs, so many stake pool operators, as signers, and they are uh, uh, constantly testing Mithril. So it's, uh, it, it's very uh, important for us. So if we want to summarize, what are the Mithril benefits? The first one is to be able to get light wallets with the same security as full node wallets. The second one will be to be able to spin up a Cardano node easier and faster. And the last one will be to be able to power secure and verified decentralized voting. So, we have uh, other resources uh, about Mithril. If you want to, uh, uh, to understand it a little bit more, you can go on our website, mithril.network. You can scan the QR code here. Um, you, you will find a lot of resources, uh, tutorial, uh, some guides. If you want to uh, restore a Cardano node from scratch, if you want to um, uh, run a sign -on node as an SPO, if you want to understand the protocol uh, a little bit more, uh, so I encourage you to go to these um, uh, websites. And now I am going to uh, present the uh, video demo. So in this uh, demonstration, we have been uh, trying to benchmark uh, the bootstrapping of a Cardano node that is embedded in a Daedalus wallet with and without Mithril and everything on the main net. So on the left side, it's with Mithril. On the right side, it's without. With Mithril, we can see that there is a little bit uh, different sequence at the startup because the Mithril client will first download the snapshot, then verify that the snapshot is authentic, which means that the multi-signature embedded with its certificate is valid. And then uh, it will unpack the snapshot, feed the Cardano node with it, and the Cardano node will start running uh, some verification and, uh, again, try to uh, synchronize uh, the node with the rest of the chain. On the right, with that Mithril, it's a classical way of bootstrapping a Cardano node. Uh, you set it up and then you wait. Uh, you request uh, the blocks from the genesis to the tip of the chain uh, with uh, several peers on the network. Uh, and as you can see, it takes a little bit more time. Um, so to give you some figures, uh, today the mainnet uh, database uh, is about 90 gigabytes uh, uncompressed and 50 gigabytes compressed, so it's kind of heavy. Uh, so that's why it takes uh, time. Um, as you can see with Mithril, we've been able to restore in just one hour and 50 seconds a full node and to get it sync completely with the mainnet, which is very impressive. Uh, with, uh, without Mithril, it took a little bit longer. It took about 16 hours. Uh, so we can see that there is um, almost 15 times speed up with Mithril. Uh, so usually it takes a little bit longer when you want to synchronize a full node uh, on the mainnet. 
Um, but uh, we, we did that with uh, no constraints in terms of bandwidth or in terms of uh, uh, memory or in terms of uh, uh, CPU. So um, that's the first benchmark that we have uh, uh, created, and we will uh, try to uh, uh, make some more investigation to make sure, uh, uh, to, I mean, to understand better what is the real uh, speed up factor. But on this experiment, we can say we had 15 times uh, uh, speed up. So if you want to get involved with Mithril, you have many possibilities. The first one is to run the Mithril protocol uh, by using um, uh, the uh, cryptographic library that is standalone, that can run in any proof of stake context. Uh, the second one is to use the Mithril client, so you can download, uh, verify, and restore a snapshot of Cardano. Uh, and the last one, <clears throat> if you are a stakeholder in the system, it, it, mean, it means if you are a, a SPO, you can run the signer node, and you can join a network, a Mithril network, and uh, start uh, signing, um, uh, some, uh, sending some snapshot and uh, contributing to the creation of uh, this Mithril multi-signature. Thank you very much, everybody. Uh, feel free to contact us on our uh, email, mithril at iohk.io. You can also join us on our Discord uh, channel. And uh, have a good day.